out-of-print literature, hand-drawn maps, rare films and archives documenting seminal moments in South African history. Much of the Jagger Reading Room's collection has gone up in smoke. It was horrifying. It was a deep-seated sadness that this had to happen because there are some things that are irreplaceable. There are some things we can buy in the future, but there are those elements that are irreplaceable and you will never know where to get them from. There were 85,000 books and 3,500 films in the reading room, which was built in the 1930s and was home to the University of Cape Town's Special Collections Library. As staff take stock of the damage, about half of the collection is expected to be lost, including many African studies books. The other half on the lower floors was saved after being sealed off behind steel shutters. Academics are anxiously waiting to hear the fate of a few items in particular, including an important series of interviews with prisoners on Robben Island from the 1870s and a Dutch Bible from 1535 believed to be the oldest in South Africa. Thankfully, many of the works have been digitised, though for some scholars, it'll never be the same as the real thing.